Hello everyone, um, my name is Jeremy Fuller. I just wanted to give you a brief introduction on myself and what I'm going to be trying to do with this YouTube channel. Um, I am the owner operator of four different mines out in the Thomas Range uh, near Topaz Mountain, Juab County, Utah. Uh, we own uh, Cyril Canyon Red Barrel Mine, Solar Wind, Bixby and Topaz Mine. Maynard's Topaz Mine and Durangite Mine. I've been doing mining about half of, well more than half my life, probably two-thirds of my life now. Uh, I met John Holfer, uh, many of you guys probably know him uh, from the book we wrote uh, together, A Field Guide to Topaz Mountain Associated Minerals. Um, this book you can get e-copies of, but you can't get physical copies because they're out of print. Uh, once in a while you can find them on Amazon for a hunk of change, but the good news is we're coming out with the next volume of this, hopefully by uh, middle of this year, and we're almost done. So I'll put a link to the PDF version of this. Um, there's a nominal fee for us to send it to you um, in below in the description. But what I wanted to do is just introduce myself and try to tell you what I want to do with the YouTube channel. Um, I'm going to be putting information on uh, looking up mineral claims. Um, I'm also going to be putting information about uh, collecting at our own properties. I'm going to put information about um, us collecting and show you some videos of us finding fantastic minerals out of our claims. Uh, then I'm just going to do briefly uh, some instruction when it comes to, to mining and, and how I got involved in all this. So that's my little intro and I hope you enjoy the channel. Please like and subscribe because I will be actively posting uh, weekly if I can uh, at least a couple times per month and then eventually ramp that up to uh, many more times. So thank you for looking and uh, hopefully this will be informational for you. Thank you. Hi, I'm here today to try to show everyone a little bit more about uh, finding out uh, where mining claims are located. Maybe you're going to go out in the field and look at an area and you want to make sure the land is available and not occupied. Um, it's very important before you go out in the field to make sure the area you want to go rock hound in has or doesn't have claims. Uh, you should never uh, claim jump. And so people are like, well, what's claim jumping? Uh, claim jumping is basically high grading, poaching, looting. Uh, it's theft. Call it what you want. Uh, basically, it's illegally collecting mineral on claims without permission from the owners. Uh, it is a crime and it is punishable and you can be prosecuted. Uh, one interesting thing about this in the 1872 mining law clearly states that it's triple damages. So if you are uh, convicted, essentially uh, whatever they assess as damages and damages could be just collecting minerals, could be trash out there, be making holes, uh, vandalizing equipment, taking signs, posts, etc. Um, all that is assessed at three times whatever they say. So if they say it was $10,000 worth of damage, you owe 30,000. So it could be quite expensive. So what I'm saying is just don't do it. Use these tools, they're simple, they're all online now, and you can figure out if there's a good chance there's a the mineral claim. So what I wanna tell you about right now is uh, the land. So land is um, kind of subdivided into this PLLS survey system. So it's public land survey. And what that is, uh, to just be really simple, and I'll put all these links in the description below so you guys have that, is each um, area is subdivided into meridian. And there's like 36 of them in the United States. And then it's subdivided into uh, township. And township has um, sections in there. And then uh, basically each section there's 36 section in each township and so essentially that means uh, one square mile um, essentially there are six by six miles so each one of them is basically one square mile so when you have this information you can easily find out whether there's claims 
in a certain area you're going. And so you're like, well, what do I do at this point? So what I suggest is use this tool called uh, mylandmatters.org. And if you go to this site, what they've done is they take the BLM's database and they uh, make it on a map format. So it makes it very easy to find out whether there's claims in an area you're going. So if you go to uh, mylandmatters.org and click up at maps, and then on the right side, there's map projects. So mining claims is what you wanna be looking at. Uh, they have other ones, agriculture, mines, et cetera, but the ones that I wanna show you today is, is mining claims. So if you click on that, uh, essentially, they have a few states, uh, fortunately, my state's in there, Utah, but there's also Wyoming, Washington, South Dakota, Oregon, New Mexico, Nevada, Montana, Idaho, Colorado, California, Arizona, and Alaska. So let's go to Utah. So it'll bring up the map. And then once this brings, and you have to be patient because this thing can be slow on a slow internet and you do not want to use a phone. Use a computer because it is absolutely terrible to use on our phone or even try to use it. So my claims are in Juab County, which is this county here. And so what I'm gonna do is zoom in. And so uh, first of all, uh, on the right side, there's actually base layers and I like to use aerial photos and then also the land or PLSS system here. So um, this will give me the section township and range so I can find out more information if I need to. So if you go ahead and drag your mouse using the left click and then drag and then let go, it'll zoom into a specific area. So it's zooming in now and it takes a minute. So just be patient. So it's zoomed in and I need to zoom in even more because right here I can see how these tiles are basically colored. And so what I'm gonna do is zoom in a little bit more. And so it's zooming in. So we finally got it zoomed in now. And so what we wanna look at here is the area you wanna go uh, inspect. Like for instance, my, I know my mines, you can see it right here by the aerial photo. And I'm gonna zoom in just one more time to show you. Uh, basically you're seeing all the sections and then what's inside, like it says three load. And so what that means, three load is three load claims. And the load claim is a little bit different than a plaster claim. Uh, load claim basically means you're digging the item or material out of the rock. And plaster claims means it's already been weathered out. It's alluvial. So, you know, a lot of plaster claims are gold claims that they collect because they're, they're basically weathered out by um, geological erosion. Uh, so, but what we're digging is load claims. So we dig through the rock and then and then get our material. So anyway, I'm in the section I wanna look at here, uh, section 20, uh, 11 South, 11 West, section 20. Okay, so it's saying three load claims. Two of those are mine. And so what I wanna do now, this is where it gets uh, very interesting. If you hit the I over here on the right side, and then if you go over here and click on three load or whatever it says, there's one load here, but we're gonna look up three load basically it loads uh, what is in that section. Wow, okay, so there's my claims, uh, TR number one, TR number two, each one's 20.66 uh, acres. Uh, that's the normal size of a claim. So I, I have two adjacent claims that are 20.66, so 41.2 or whatever it is. So my math doesn't work in my head or head in my math, I don't know. Anyway, so uh, you can see the last year assessment, 2021, uh, they're active, everything's good. And there's also another one in the Southwest quadrant quarter section. So this is where you wanna pay attention. So Northwest, Southwest, and then Southwest, okay. So if I go back to the, the uh, map here, and if I were to take a line, I mean, just imagine imaginary line going straight down and then straight across that would make each section a quarter section. So that's each quarter mile. So you can really pin this down really well based upon a map. So my claims are in Northwest, which up is North. So you got uh, West is to the left. So you got North West is right here in this corner. 
and then southwest is in this corner. So my claims are in the northwest and southwest. So they're kind of like this. Um, if you want to find a better map that shows you the exact boundaries, you have to go to the BLM. And then, so what you want to do is take in if you want to click on uh, the information again, if you click this, uh, click for BLM report, basically what it brings up is this information. So this has the uh, UMC numbers and the serial numbers, and you'll want to print this and then take it into the BLM. Uh, and they have our maps on files. You can also take this information into the county, which mine is Juab County and you can get this information because we have to file with the county too. So basically, I just wanted to give you a, a brief introduction on how to look up claims. I mean, this uh, mylandmatters.org is invaluable. Um, as you can see, let's say you wanted to go look in section 19. So my claims here, if you wanted to go in section 19, there's no claims, no uh, mining claims. So this is one step in the process. Uh, it doesn't it's not definitive, but it gives you like a 90% overview of uh, a good indication that there's no claims here. Now, if you wanted to make sure of that, you'd also have to uh, check the state databases. And then there's also um, land that is patented mining claims. And that doesn't have that information. This is strictly on mining claims that are federal. So it's BLM land that we have the mining rights on and the mineral collecting rights. So anyway, I'm going to leave it at there and I appreciate the time and let me know if you have any questions below and I'd be happy to answer them. Uh, hopefully I do some more uh, videos on uh, some of the other state sections and things like that. But for now, I appreciate it. Thanks. Subscribe and um, also like our, our video. Thank you.